one. It's Exterminator 87. It's getting nicer out. So we thought we'd come out here and do a little bit of shooting today during this weird time. And I was a little scarce right now. So I guess we'll just shoot a bunch of guns with one bullet each. We got another backyard ballistic test video for you today. As the title suggests, you might notice we have a whole bunch of guns out here. We're gonna test each caliber or cartridge on this big roll of plastic. This should be pretty interesting to me. I work with this plastic every day. It's like a poly wrap. It's pretty expensive actually, but I got a cutoff piece. As you can see, it's pretty thick stuff, so I'm wondering if all these layers will stop bullets. It's got to be at least three inches thick on each side, and plus there's a cardboard in the middle. And I got a variety of rifle rounds and pistol rounds and shotgun slug out here to try on it. And we'll see what goes through it and what doesn't. Should be pretty fun. <laughs> Here's a close-up of the variety of handguns we will be using today. Some rifles. More rifles. Rifles, rifles. Oh, shotgun. As you can see, we got quite a variety to try out here. Let's get this big roll of plastic in our staging area. This is where we'll do our test. Should be interesting. First gun, 22 long rifle, some old high velocity ammo. Cougar Mark Three. Check it out. Uh, I can't tell how far in it went. But it didn't come through one layer. Not surprised by the 22's results. It's a 22. That's pretty thick stuff too. Let's try 9mm. 115 grain, 9mm. I hit a little bit toward the side with this 9mm. I'm pretty sure it went under the layer here and bulged it out over here just a little bit. I don't know if you can see that on the camera or not. 38 special. Time for the 40, Smith & Wesson. Forty Smith and Wesson, still no pass through. How about forty four special? No pass through so far on twenty two, nine millimeter, forty, thirty eight special, or forty four special. The wounds in the plastic are closing back up once it gets shot. About 45 ACP. The 45 ACP has made an impact, I think. I think it bulged the paper in there. Still no pass through a 45 Colt. How about 10 millimeter? Three fifty seven Magnum. Still no pass through on any of these, but who knows what kind of path these things are taking. Once they get in there, bullets do some weird things with how fast they're going when they hit stuff. We'll find out once we open this up at some point. Probably by the end of the video, of course. Let's go to the big boys, a 44 Magnum. Four 
44 Magnum did not come out, but it did cause some damage to the paper cardboard on the inside here. We're gonna have to go bigger for this. Desert Eagle, 50 AE. It did cause some more cardboard tube damage in there. It's gonna be exciting to take this apart later. Going bigger than 50 AE, 360 grain, 454 Casol. Oh yeah. I moved it around a little. Caused some pretty massive damage inside there and actually impacted this back wall. Bullet fragments down here at the bottom of the tube. That's interesting. 460 Smith & Wesson, 300 grain jacket and flat point. Wish I had a 200 grain, but that's all I could find right now. Unfortunately, I shot a little low on that one. It went through the plastic there, through the cardboard. Nicked this. Went through there. Blew the ants right out of this board. Our termites. 500 Smith & Wesson. Jack and soft point, 400 grain. The 500 hit way up here, caused some good damage in there. I think I see the bullet sitting in there. There's the 500's jacket and bullet sitting inside. Here's the 500's jacket. You all wad it up that is. There's the bullet inside. It's still very warm. Something like that. Pretty hot still. 12 gauge slug. <laughs> 12 gauge slug left a pretty big hole. I can about stick my pinky in it. I can't tell what's going on in here anymore. 556. Five, Five four five by thirty nine. Seven six two by thirty nine millimeters. Seven six two by fifty one. Three oh eight. The inside's too big of a mess to tell you what's going on right now. Nothing's come out yet though. Thirty out six Springfield with a ballistic tip. Ping 30 out six didn't go through it either. I'm starting to think none of these are gonna make it through. This stuff is thick. Come out another day because I got a different round here. We got a seven millimeter Remington Magnum. <laughs> 458 wind mag with a 510 jacketed soft point bullet. Honestly, it looks like the some of these rifle rounds I'm about achieved a pass through. I say this is the 458. There's a bulge right here on each side. This is some pretty tough stuff. It absorbed all these rounds from 22 to 458 wind mag today. Maybe I'll come out before I edit this video and shoot a 50 BMG at it. I don't know. It might go through because it started bulging on some of the last few rifle rounds. You know, we'll give it a shot sometime. 
and brought the 50 BMG since the rest can't seem to make it through. Let's try this one at point blank range. Surely that made it through. Ooh, what do we have here? That's most definitely a 50 cal exit wound. Look at this big giant hole back here. Would you look at this? Only minimal digging just now. That's the jacketing off the 50 cal after it passed through the plastic. It's cool. I like that or the rest of it is. And just a little bit more digging. I found the 50 cal core standing on end just like that. That is super awesome. Obviously no bullet deformation or anything on plastic. There's a little hole. That's awesome. Super cool result. We were able to find the 50 cal in the dirt behind the target. That's wild. And just for curiosity's sake, I'm kind of curious what this does. Just for some experimental shots. That's great. So I took a skill bomb, cut back many of these layers, so I can kind of peel it open like a big onion. I don't know how I'm going to explain, or even be able to tell how far these bullets went in. There's one right there. That one right there is pretty cool. One. Yeah. Plastic there. Maybe I'll be able to tell you what caliber some of these are. <laughs> Random damage, bullets everywhere. Tough gauge slip. Huh, look at that. Finally got it all peeled back. The middle was pulverized. So far I only see that one bullet there stuck in it. That many passed through it. Some of them looked like they were going sideways. This first one though, I'm very sure is a 22, maybe three quarters of an inch give or take in the plastic. Another bullet up here. Let's see if we can figure out what that one is. Here's another bullet. 12 gauge slug. That looks like it went through maybe about an inch and a half of plastic. Flip and do it like a book. Set that page. Here's some of the bullets that I dug out of the plastic and to the best of my ability I'll try to tell you what they are. Some of these are missing. 
22 9mm, 38 Special, 40 Smith & Wesson, 44 Special, 45 Colt, 45 ACP, 10mm Auto, 357 Magnum, 44 Magnum, 50 AE, 454 Casole, 500 Smith & Wesson, 12 gauge Slug, 545, 762 by 39 308 458 Winchester, 7mm or 30-06, I am not sure. Same with that one, one of the two. And 50 BMG. And here we have a little diagram kind of roughly illustrating how some of the milestone bullets, as you will, went through the plastic. 22 only went about three quarters of an inch in. For reference, 50 BMG went all the way through it. Most of the rifle rounds almost went through it. The 500 Smith & Wesson made it through the cardboard tube, whereas most of the handgun rounds and the 12 gauge slug did not. Be sure to like, favorite, subscribe. We'll do some more backyard ballistic shooting. We'll do some more shooting throughout the summer. As things warm up around here, keep watching some shooting videos. I'll keep making them. So for now, just like, favorite, subscribe. Follow us on Instagram, keep watching, keep shooting. We'll see you next time. Extraordinary 87 signing off. Goodbye.